Good morning, lovely people. It is 10 to 9 in the morning right now, and today I am going to have my first round of IV therapy. And I figured, why not bring you along? So just a little bit of background. I have Lyme disease. I've had it for many years now, and it has been managed for several years. It's, I'm, it's been fine, and I am still fine to this day, but I do like to keep in touch with my Lyme specialists, um, just to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to kind of keep it under control and to, to keep me nice and healthy, which is just something I think is sensible to do. And uh, this last year I saw my specialist again and she recommended that I try a course of this uh, IV therapy, in particular this is an immune boosting IV therapy. And so originally I was thinking of doing this back in March and then things just got really busy, one thing was happening after another and I just didn't have time for it. Um, but now going into winter I thought this is really the time to do it, no time like the present so um, I booked an appointment and uh, we're going to stay. So it's in London, the clinic is in London where I'm going to have it done. So uh, we need to catch the 10.50 train I think in, my mum's going to meet me on the train at her station because we go past her station on my train line. So she's just going to come and help me out today uh, just because it's my first treatment I'm not sure how it's going to go. So hopefully I shouldn't feel anything, I should actually feel like better almost straight away afterwards, just feel really rejuvenated. Um, but you never know with this stuff, so better safe than sorry. I asked her if she'd come with me and she said yes. So we're gonna go and have the treatment done and I think depending on how I feel afterwards, we might go and do a little bit of shopping and then we're gonna go back to her place to have tea there and then um, one of them, my mum and my dad, will drop us home afterwards. So, should be, should be a good day and hopefully everything goes well. We're just on the train on our way in now. So, little update, I finished my treatment, we're back on the train now. I um, couldn't really talk in the treatment room because there was another lady having it done there. Um, so I just kind of briefly showed you what was there, but when I get back to uh, my parents' house, I'll give you a full update then. Ooh. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm currently back at my parents' house and I figured while my small one was having a nap, this would be a good time to catch you up on what happened today and how I feel after the treatment. So I think I spoke earlier on in the video about why I decided to have this, but just kind of basically to recap again, my Lyme specialist had recommended it as just another way to kind of maintain my how well I'm doing with my Lyme because it's been on control for a while now and I felt really great so this was like another suggestion just to kind of boost things up and I actually had this suggestion given to me back at the beginning of the year but then like things were because it was Covid then things were really hectic uh, just busy with business and other stuff and then I just decided actually there's never going to be a perfect time to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and book it. Particularly going into winter, this seemed like a good time to have it because the type of IV therapy I was recommending was immune boost therapy because my immune system is, it's, it's okay but it's not the best and uh, winter tends to be where all the winter bugs are around so it just seemed like a good, a good time to do it. So I booked it and as I said I asked my mum to come along with me today to help me because I tend to react to things quite easily and I just wanted to have another person there to, to in case I had a reaction so you just it's just more reassurance than anything. So on to the treatment itself. When I was actually at the clinic I was in a room and there was another lady at the end having treatment so it was and it was like a nice quiet environment so I didn't really talk on the camera as much when I was showing you what the setup was because I didn't want to disturb her treatment. But basically I got there to the clinic and they took me down to the IV room where they did all these treatments and the nurse was there and got me to fill out all these forms and sign everything and of course there's always like that really terrifying sentence on the, the um, consent forms, it's like potential side effects including things like soreness and bruising around the site and then it goes down to severe rare side effects like anaphylactic shock, cardiac arrest and death. And I was like, okay. I mean, I know they have to put that there, but it's still a bit like unnerving. Of course, once I'd signed all the consent forms, she came and she put a pillow under my arm and uh, she asked me if I wanted to have it in my hand or in my elbow. Now, when I've previously had IVs done, not, I've not had IV therapy before, I had an IV put in when I was admitted to hospital a couple of years ago and they did it in my, my hand that time. And I remember it was, it was quite, like it didn't hurt, but it was uncomfortable and it felt really cold. Like I could feel the fluid going in, it was cold. Um, so when she asked me about that, I said, is it, is it not as pain, is it less painful to have it in your arm? And she said, yes. So I said, I'll do that. So then I probably see my little plaster here. She, she put it in my arm and said, in hindsight, I'm not sure whether it was any better. I certainly, like it hurt having it in there. Like the first minute was kind of like uncomfortable, but then the pain kind of wore off after that. Cause when it 
first started I was thinking oh gosh this is going to be the whole treatment I'm not sure I'm going to last an hour of this but it did wear off um, and I couldn't feel it going in that was good I didn't have like the cold arm sensation that I'd had previously but then I was stuck with my arm like on a pillow like this I couldn't really move or do anything else whereas I think if I'd had it in my hand I could at least have moved my elbow and maybe held a book or something so anyway she started the treatment and to begin with like I felt pretty fine and everything and then I think like 15 minutes towards the end of my treatment I started to feel a little bit lightheaded and a bit nauseous now nausea is like my default fault um, reaction to things when I when I have a reaction to any medication or treatment or anything I just if I'm not feeling great I almost always go nauseous it's really annoying it's one of the things like I call it the, like the relics from Lyme that I still have where I just get nauseous so easily uh, it's really unpleasant but that it, it's not an unusual reaction for me because I didn't have my book I had ended up watching um it's budget day currently here in the UK so the chance has been like announcing the budget and it just so happened that while I was having my treatment he was giving his speech in the House of Parliament so I thought well I'll just watch that live on BBC News because I have my headphones and I didn't really have anything else to do because I hadn't got my book but I'm wondering if that also might have made me feel a bit ill just watching on such a small screen so I'm not again I'm not entirely sure if it was just that or just the treatment or a combination of both that made me feel a bit ill but I definitely wasn't feeling so great towards the end of it um, I was actually quite relieved when the nurse came in and said it was like it was time to finish and took it out and everything so that was good but yeah I wasn't expecting that because in theory you could feel you could kind of go one or two ways after you've had treatment this is like an immune boost so it's basically just full of vitamins and um, nutrients all sorts of stuff I'll put a list here of what was in the immune boost IV therapy that I was suggested and um so a lot of people feel really great and rejuvenated after they've had it but for me I never seem to react to things normally so I felt pretty grim afterwards. Because of Covid my mum couldn't actually come into the clinic with me so she had waited, uh, she'd gone to a cafe actually and waited there and then she came to meet me at the clinic and we then, um, I said to her I think I just need to walk around a bit so we walked up um, one tube, so we didn't go to the tube station we came to, we walked up to one more one further along so I could have some fresh air and everything and the other thing I did was I bought a bottle of coke which felt so counterproductive after having just had this like really healthy you know health boosting nutrient therapy uh to go and buy coca-cola but actually when I'm feeling sick coke is one of those things you shake a bottle of coke and get the, the fizziness out and it, it is one of those things that can really settle your stomach well it's always worked well for me and in this instance it also made me feel better quite quickly so it was actually the right thing to do in terms of that but yeah, it wasn't a particularly pleasant feeling at the end. I think one of the other problems was I also needed the loo towards the end of my treatment. Uh, so that might not have helped. And then of course, and then we caught the train back to my parents' house. And because I hadn't felt so well afterwards, my mum suggested that I stay here a bit longer and we have dinner. And then she or my dad will drop me and my small one back at my house. So yeah, so that's basically what's happened. So how am I feeling now? Well... But actually, it was interesting because when I was on the train, my mum was saying, like, you do look paler than you normally are. Like, I tend to go, I mean, I've got the light directly on me right here, but, like, I tend to go, like, grey almost when I'm not feeling great. Um, I lose my colour. I don't have the best of colour, at the, the, I don't have great colour at the best of times, but, like, I go particularly grey when I'm not feeling well. So she said, you're not as bad as I've seen you, but you're a little bit pale. I think that was just because I was reacting to the treatment, um, which could be a good thing. You know, it could be kicking in and doing something. So some of the immediate effects that I have seen, obviously aside from that kind of negative side effect, uh, when I went to the toilet, I have had a bit of, it's not really constipation the last few weeks or so, but it's not been easy. But definitely, like almost straight after the treatment, it was, I went to the toilet and I went very easily. And the other thing was, I don't know if you could see when I actually had the therapy done, but the fluid coming down the IV drip, it's like a bright yellow colour. It's kind of, it's quite funny looking but it's, it's a bright yellow colour and my pee is bright yellow as well <laughs> so it's definitely gone through my system because it's never been that colour before it was like wow but aside from that we're only well it's basically four o'clock now and I had the treatment done and it's 12 30 it finished around 1 15 so it's about two, two to three hours since treatment now. So anyway, I will keep you guys informed. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll probably post some updates over there about how I'm feeling, how I'm reacting to this over the next few days. But it is kind of like an accumulative thing. So you're supposed to have a number of treatments, but one should be enough for you to get a sense of does it have any improvements. So be interesting, I think, to see how I feel tomorrow, particularly once this has had a time to kind of go through me and my body's had time to adjust to having all this stuff in it. So yeah, we'll see. Just wanted to give a bit of an update on how it went and how I'm feeling right now. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and just spend some time with my family. So it is now eight o'clock at night, just 10 past eight. I just wanted to come on and do a quick update. So my treatment finished uh, about quarter past one this afternoon. Like I told you in the last clip, I explained how I was feeling immediately after that. Then after I filmed the last clip I just did, I started to feel a little bit tired. 
I'm just a bit on the kind of dozy slide. I didn't have a nap, but I had a bit of a rest just while I was at my parents' house and um, before we had dinner. And then in the afternoon, my mum gave me a bit of a snack, which was like Parmesan, balsamic vinegar and breadsticks wrapped in parma hands, so like salty stuff. And I definitely perked up after that. And actually, I've been feeling since I had that bit of a rest, I'm feeling much, much more alert and awake. I feel much better now. I kind of feel like I'm getting almost a second wind. So... I guess the real test of this will be how I feel tomorrow and over the next 24 or 48 hours because that's when this stuff kind of really starts to kick in and to see if there's any effect then. So obviously I need to get this video, this Wednesday tonight, this video needs to go live on Thursday, which is tomorrow, so I need to finish this up now and go and edit it. But I will keep you guys informed um, on my Instagram if you want to follow me. Um, if you want to know what, how I feel over the next few days, I'll keep a little bit of an update over there and obviously maybe I'll update in another vlog that I do. Next week it'll be a sit down video, I think. Um, but after that, in the next vlog I do, I will be talking a bit more about how I feel about this and everything. So yeah, but if you had any questions about IV therapy, um, feel free to pl place comments down below. Maybe you've had it, let me know. Uh, I'd be really curious to know everyone's experiences and stuff. But so far, it's been um, just my first treatment, so we'll see how it goes. Whether I want to do it again or not, I don't know. Right now, we'll have to have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, no, I'm feeling feeling some of the benefits start to kick in now so it'll be interesting but thanks so much for watching guys do please subscribe i make videos every thursday now don't forget you can also try out cloth pads if you're interested by checking out my website link will be at the end of this video and it's also in the description down below as is my patreon page if you want to support me over there thank you so much for my wonderful patreon sponsors hope you have a great day and i will see you next week bye everyone